Good morning. Today, we will discuss some changes that occur in our surroundings involving one or more substances. Now, we will perform some activities related to chemical change. The first activity is burning of a magnesium ribbon. This is a magnesium ribbon I hope you might have seen. Now, let us take a magnesium ribbon. What is its color? It is white in color. Now, first we have to clean its surface with a sandpaper. Can you tell why to clean it? This is done to remove any impurities if present on the surface of magnesium ribbon. This already have cleaned. Next, we will take it and burn it. Now, for burning this, we need to take a pair of tongs. This is a pair of tongs. So take a small piece of magnesium ribbon. Hold it on the tip of the pair of tongs. Then you have to burn it using a burner. Now see how it is burning. Yes. It is burning with a dazzling white flame. Like uh, the crackers burn during Diwali, like that it is burning. Yes or no? Okay. What else you are finding here? While the magnesium ribbon is burning, it produces some white ashes. Yes or no? Mm. What are those ashes called? Can anyone tell? These are called magnesium oxide. Do you think? This magnesium oxide ash which is produced is same as the original magnesium ribbon we have taken? Certainly no. So what do you observe here? While the magnesium ribbon is burning, it produces a new substance that is called magnesium oxide. Okay? So this is totally different from the changes what we have discussed so far. They were all physical changes whereas this is a chemical change. Can you tell again why it is a chemical change? This is a chemical change because it involves formation of a new substance. Here it is magnesium oxide. Okay. Now let us move to do another interesting activity. We will do a reaction involving copper sulphate. Have you heard the name of copper sulphate? No, it is called Neel Tota in Hindi. Okay. What is its color? It is blue in color. Now, let us take few grams of copper sulphate in a beaker and mix it with water. When you mix anything in water, what you will get? You will get its solution. So, what you are going to do is we are preparing solution of copper sulphate in water. Okay. What is the color of the solution? The color of solution is again blue, like the original solid. If it is not mixing, you can use a glass rod or here the spatula you can use. This is called spatula. Now, what do you call this? This is solution of copper sulphate in water. We will take this solution in a test tube. Okay. Take about 5 ml, 5 ml of copper sulphate solution in a test tube. Keep it in the stand. We will study the reaction of copper sulphate with what? Iron. We have to take an iron nail or any other iron object. Now see, most of the time the irons are rusted, yes or no? So, you have to clean its surface by using the sandpaper to make it shiny. So, this is the iron nail. Now, you have to dip this iron nail in the copper sulphate solution taken in the test tube. Slowly dip it such that otherwise if you put it suddenly, the test tube may be broken. So slowly leave it. 
Now what do you observe? The iron rail is completely dipped in the copper sulphate solution. Now let us keep it for a while and observe what happens. After half an hour or so, we will see what are the change in color of the solution and the iron rail. This was our original solution and this is the change. After half an hour, we will find this change. Look, compare. This is the original solution which was blue in color. After a while, it has changed into this color. What is the color of this solution now? This is looking somewhat light green color. Okay. Also observe the surface of the iron nail. What do you find? A reddish brown coating is formed on the surface of the iron nail. It is clearly visible. Yes or no? Now what is this solution now called? This, this solution is called iron sulphate. We have taken copper sulphate. After the reaction, it has changed into a new substance, iron sulphate. Is there any other new substance produced in this reaction? Yes, there is another new substance that is the reddish brown coating. These are the coatings, they are copper. So, what happened here? The solution changed from copper sulphate to iron sulphate and on the surface of iron nail another new substance copper is deposited. Okay? So, here you are getting two new substances iron sulphate and copper sulphate. If you wish, can you get back the copper sulphate solution from these two? No, we cannot get back. So, this is a different kind of change. This is called a chemical change as it involves formation of new substances. So, this is second activity. Now, let us move to another interesting activity. You might have heard the name of vinegar in houses where it is used. It is used for preparing some special kind of dishes, you know, like uh, um, pakoda, making a pakoda, chowmin, those type of uh, food items that require vinegar. Here, I have brought some vinegar. This is vinegar. Its chemical name is ethanoic acid and its formula is CH3COOH. So, we will study the reaction of vinegar with baking soda. This is another substance which is used in houses, no? Baking soda used for preparing some special dishes like vinegar. Now, we have to, we will take a special apparatus that is called a W tube to study this reaction. Easily, we will take this apparatus that is called W tube because of its shape, it looks like W. So, there are two sides of the W tube. Now, we will take a small small pinch of baking soda. This is our baking soda on one side of the W tube. Very little amount. If you take more, it may not give good result. You have to be careful. Then on the other side, take a drop of lime water. Have you heard the word lime water? This is called lime water. It is, it is prepared by mixing lime. Lime you might be uh, knowing, some people are um, uh, using lime for uh, eating purpose. This is a basic substance. So, lime water is dissolved. Lime is prepared by dissolving lime with water, then filtering the mixture to get a clear solution of lime water. Its chemical composition is calcium hydroxide. Its formula is CaOH2. Alright. Now, on the other side, other side of the W tube, we will take a small drop of lime water. Okay. Only one drop is sufficient. We are studying the reaction of baking soda with vinegar. Where we have taken the baking soda? In the left hand side. So, we have to add the vinegar in the left hand side, then there will be reaction, we will observe what will happen and this side what changes will take place that we are going to observe. 
Now let us take vinegar, bed to add it in the baking soda side. Just add one drop. What do you observe immediately? There is evolution of a gas. No. What is the color of this gas? This is colorless. Also, if you smell it, there will be no smell. Now, what I will do? I will allow this gas produce to pass to the other side by closing with my thumb this side. See what happens? The gas is passing through this side. This side, what you have taken? Lime water. Look what changes takes place. Gradually, it is becoming milky white or not? Good. See, see the beauty. The lime water was originally colorless, but after some time, when this gas is passed through this, it changes into milky color. Now, can you guess why this happened so? This happened so because when the vinegar reacts with the baking soda, a new substance is produced. You have observed this? What was that new substance? That was a gas. So, this gas when reacts with the lime water, it changes to another new substance. Now, can you tell, can you guess what is the gas, for new gas produced there? That side, the gas produced was carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide, when passed through lime water, changed into milky. Look at the beauty once again. The milkiness again disappeared when the original color of the lime water came. This happened within a fraction of a minute. So here we have observed two changes. First, due to the reaction of vinegar with baking soda, a new substance, carbon dioxide gas is produced, which on reaction with the lime water made into milky color for a while. White changed into milky color due to formation of another new substance that is calcium carbonate. That white color was due to the formation of calcium carbonate. But when you pass it for a long time in excess, again the calcium carbonate changed into another new substance that is calcium bicarbonate, which is again colorless. So you got this side you got two new substances. One is calcium carbonate, the other one is calcium bicarbonate. Calcium carbonate is insoluble in water, so it appeared milky color. But after the formation of calcium bicarbonate, which is soluble in water, again the milkiness disappeared. So, this is the beauty. So, what you have observed? Here, we have observed the reaction of vinegar with baking soda. A new substance is produced, that is carbon dioxide gas, which on reaction with lime water, again a new substance is produced, that is calcium carbonate, which is insoluble in water, so it appeared milky. On passing excess of the gas, the milkiness again disappeared due to the formation of another new substance that is calcium bicarbonate, which is soluble in water, so the original color appeared. So this is another example of chemical change. So far what we have discussed under chemical change, we have discussed burning of a magnesium ribbon. There we have observed while a magnesium river bonds, it produces one new substance that is magnesium oxide. Secondly, we have observed the reaction of an iron with a copper sulphate solution. There are also two new substances are produced. Copper which is deposited on the surface of the iron nail which we have already kept here. Then the solution became iron sulphate which is another new substance. Third, we have observed the reaction of vinegar with baking soda. We have taken baking soda, this side, added vinegar to it, observe a gas is produced, colorless and odorless gas, which when passed through lime water on the other side, made into milky due to formation of another new substance, calcium carbonate. But on passing excess, the milkiness disappeared due to formation of another new substance, calcium bicarbonate. So, in all these three changes, 
what do you observe during all these changes new substances are produced in addition to the new substances produced have you observed any other change in physical appearance yes a chemical change also involves change in some properties like uh, in the first case in the bonding of magnesium ribbon uh, their heat energy is produced no while the magnesium ribbon bond it produced heat energy also it produced light heat and light energy are produced in the second case in the reaction of iron nail with copper sulfate solution the color of the substance changed the iron nail became reddish brown color and the copper sulfate became light green color so here there is change in color in the third case what happened when vinegar reacts with baking soda a gas is produced that is evolution of gas in some cases during a chemical change there may be evolution of gases also there in the third example also you have observed there is there was a change in color the color of lime water changed from colorless to white then from white to colorless so the two changes took place so to summarize we can say a chemical change involves always formation of new substance yes or no in other words we can say a chemical change involves a chemical reaction whenever a chemical change takes place it is always accompanied by a chemical reaction and vice versa that is we can say when a chemical reaction takes place it involves a chemical change so this is the basic necessity whenever a chemical change takes place it involves the formation of a new substance in addition to that it may involve some other change in properties like there may be evolution of gas there may be uh, evolution or absorption of heat energy in some cases like in the bonding of magnesium heat energy is produced but there are some cases where during a chemical change heat energy may be absorbed okay so there may be evolution or absorption of heat energy then there may be change in color there are many reactions many chemical changes which involves change in color a physical change is change where no new substance is produced only some change in physical properties like color texture size shape may be changed whereas a chemical change always involves formation of new substances also it is accompanied by some change in properties like evolution of gas formation of precipitate that is a new thing in some chemical changes a precipitate may be formed which you will learn in higher classes uh, in some changes there may be evolution of gas change in color and the absorption of energy release of energy etc so this is what is physical change and chemical change then in the coming classes we will discuss further about this physical and chemical changes thank you